Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I uh, haven't had a chance to get out much. I've been so busy with so many other things. And uh, like last weekend, I moved two cubic yards of topsoil into the backyard. And today I had to do all the gardening, planting all the tomato plants, cucumbers and everything. And then I saw Environment Canada is giving a frost warning for tonight. Well, I don't know how that's supposed to be. I think they just don't want to take uh, responsibility in case they screw up the weather forecast. But anyways, so I came back to uh, this creek that I've been to many times before. I've taken some good shots, but uh, a friend of mine took a shot not too long ago and he showed me the picture and wow, it was an amazing picture. He's got the... Uh, Nikon Z6 mirrorless and uh, it's got a few advantages than I have like he has the flip up LCD I don't have that so it's kind of hard I'm going to use the uh, 18 to 300 millimeter lens because uh, I just don't feel like messing around with the uh, wide angle lens because of the uh, focus issues I've talked about in the past that I've had with that so I'm going to use the uh, 18 to 300 millimeter lens uh, I took a couple of shots further down on the creek and uh, now I found a spot where I like the composition. Uh, I think without any filters on and I took a shot, I think it was 1 30th of a second. Let me check here. Yeah. Yeah, 1 30th of a second, f5.6. So I'll check on the, check on the Nissi app. Uh, I'm not sure which filter I'm going to use. I might have to use the polarizer to get rid of some of the glare off the water, but uh, I'll, uh, and I might try and focus stack because some of the rocks have green moss on them and uh, I might want to try and focus stack it. Uh, I haven't been having much luck focus stacking lately in On One Photo Raw. I don't know if my compositions were too complicated and I had three or four shots and I just couldn't get the focus stacking to work. so. I'll try and minimize the amount of shots I take for focus stacking. But uh, if that doesn't work, I'll still have some long exposure shots. Probably a quarter of a second, I think. Anyways, I'll uh, get it all set up and I'll try and show you what's going on. Okay, thanks. Okay, so this is my composition here. Uh, obviously, I'm going to be... Uh, doing the long exposure for the falls there. Gonna try and uh, see if I can, uh, that is a little bit of a green there. You can't really see it on the uh, video here, but uh, I'm gonna try and see if I can focus in on that and then uh, I'll do these here in the long exposure. I might actually have to do a photo blend from the left if I can't do the focus stacking. So I'll try that, and uh, so it was 1 30th of a second, f5.6. I'll check on the Nissi app to see uh, what I have to have that set at, and hopefully it all works out. Okay. All right, so the shots kind of worked out. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to focus stack because the sun was shining through and it gave different light on the rocks and that's going to probably cause a bit of a complication when I try to focus stack. I'll still give it a try. The pictures still look good up on the back of the LCD. So we'll try that and we'll see what happens. Now, I thought I was too late for the trilliums, but I know some on the way in and I have been on the hunt for a red trillium. I haven't seen one in ages. Um, I was going to see if I could try and capture a picture of a trillium, hopefully a red one with the macro lens. So I'm going to try that. So if it doesn't work out, I'll end the video here. Like and subscribe and uh, I'll talk to you on the next video. Talk to you later. Bye.